This is the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 18 for Monday, November 16th, 2020, where we do a blind taste test of four IPAs. <laughs> Welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for November 16th, 2020. This is episode 18. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's intro for the hosts, Chris and Charlie. This week, we are right in the middle of San Diego Beer Week and Blind Lady Ale House was hosting an IPA blind taste test. The four beers are all in silver cans with numbers one through four marked on them. You can see some pictures over at the podcraft.com website. The four breweries were Made West Brewing Company based out of Ventura, North Park Brewing Company in San Diego, Russian River from Windsor in Northern California, and then Bergen Beer Company out of Carlsbad. Also, the beer from Made West Brewing was a collaboration with There Does Not Exist a Brewery from San Luis Obispo, California. If you want to subscribe to the podcast via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. So without any more delay, please enjoy today's show. This is the Podcraft Beer Show, where we talk about craft beer from San Diego and beyond. I'm Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Yep. Got tech guy, Steve. Hello. So today, guys, uh, San Diego Beer Week. And uh, Blind Lady Ale House, uh, they, they do a blind IPA challenge every year. So this year, uh, they, they released... Uh, Sounds like fun. Yeah, they released four cans. So you can, you can do it at home. So, so uh, what we're going to do today, we, uh, we're going to taste all four of these beers. We're going to match the cans with the beer name. And uh, we're going to see if we can't figure out uh, one, two, three, or four of, uh, of what these beers Let's are. Let's hear what they got on the list. So the, uh, the first beer... Uh, uh, one of the cans is Russian Rivers Pliny the Elder. Mm. Had a had a few of those over over the years. Couple. Uh, North Park sorta mostly dead. Uh, Made West's short lived and Burgeon's Deliberation. What do you think of that? I think we should start. I think you should uh, start popping those cans and I'll, I'll kind of uh, break Ready? down what we got. Hey Chris, real quick, where's Made West at? Begin. So Made West is in Ventura. Okay. Um, and the the Made West beer that they um, uh, that they did uh, uh, that that's on here is called Short Lived. Uh, Short Lived is a um, is a collaboration with There Does Not Exist, which is a brewery out of Slow. Yeah, I was the only one I hadn't heard of the brewery. Yep. Yeah. So I I have uh, I I don't think I've had anything from uh, Can uh, One is in the hopper. Can One's in the hopper. So unfortunately, we uh, well, we won't know what the what what's what, but we can. Ooh. Do you want to pour? Um, do you want to pour a can two and uh, should we pour a few of them at the same time? I, I kinda, would, yeah, I guess that would be all right. Uh, and I'll, I'll kind of run down uh, what the breakdown is. So so uh, Pliny's a well balanced, uh, uh, well balanced uh, malt hop, slightly bitter with fresh hop aroma of floral, citrus, and pine. It's a uh, double IPA at eight uh, percent. North Parks. Uh, Sort of mostly dead. It's a West Coast IPA, grapefruit zest, fruity pebbles, fresh pine, blueberries, uh, herbaceous nugs, and fresh melon. Uh, Made West short lives. They say it explodes with citra character. You want all four of them out? Um, do you think? Or well, we're going one, two, three, four, anyways. Which one's one over here? One. one. Okay. Two. two. Okay. One, two. And then there's three, and then there's four. Okay. <laughs> I just don't know how you. Would, yeah, okay. I poured them um, in order. Okay. Uh, so, Burgeon's uh, Deliberation would be Passion Fruit, Ruby Red Grapefruit, Honeydew, uh, Smooth, Dank, and Bone Dry. So, this is number one here. Okay, let's taste up. See what we... Uh, so, they're all West Coast IPAs. So, they're... Um, now, see, I'm smelling grapefruit. I'm tasting grapefruit. So, I know, I know what I'm talking about on this one already because there's two with grapefruit in it. It says... Doggone it! That's mm. good. That's a, yeah. That's a nice, uh, nice West Coast IPA. You definitely that's get that grapefruit all day. Good there. Ooh man, that jumps on the palate. Yeah, I see that. Um, 
there's, there's three grapefruits. <laughs> there is. Yeah, the, the sort of mostly. On it. Now they're trying to play with my head. Oh, you're dead. right. Wow. Virgin's got I, grapefruit. I drink that, though, and it, it just pops with like, um, that grapefruit's just right in the face, huh? I yeah. can pretty much say that that's not Pliny. Yeah. I, um, I, you know, it's going to be harder to pick, in my opinion, personal opinion, because I've tasted Pliny, but I haven't tasted any of these others. So, I mean, I should be able to pick out the Pliny easily, I would imagine. It's the only one without grapefruit, right? You know that that second the second one that we poured definitely smells a, a quite a bit maltier than 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 the first one. The first one's just I mean you definitely smell that that grapefruit. A lot of fruit on the on the the nose of can number one. Yeah, I'm thinking one is is pretty doggone good. Number two, eh. It's all right. Kinda reminds me of Pliny. Kinda. Haven't tasted the other two though, so I guess we gotta start. Cr- keep I think you cranking. gotta have them all. Over. You gotta have them all, right? So you can kind of bounce around yeah. and back and forth. Yeah, we're just new at this. First time we ever drank beers with our. The hardest part is we're all blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> this is number three that you're cracking. All right, so yeah, uh, so I think we all agree that that um, can number one definitely uh, uh, oozes with that that grapefruit flavor. Uh, definitely um, finishes dry too. I think. Um, Number two is really smooth. It is really, uh, really pretty smooth. You know, the other thing we could uh, we could take a look at, guys, is is the write up of some of these on um, on uh, uh, Untapped. Now, so if we look at at Pliny, maybe it'll give some hop profile in there that 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 may help us. Um, is that number three, Charlie? Yeah. So you it's know, good. Pliny, a true leader in the hop wars of the West Coast, Pliny the Elder hits you over the head with the hoppy bitterness and manages to smooth uh, manages to smooth the rough edges out uh, enough to become a, an enjoyable beer. Uh, sort of mostly dead, which is our our West Coast IPA, uh, comes in at seven point four percent. So I think I'm taste. I think I'm tasting the pine on number two, on the second can. The second, well, our third can, right? Um, so our third North can, um, our, yeah, so number, our second can, um, was can number two. Yeah. Number number two, but, uh, uh the beers in the list, yep. I think the third beer we're trying right now is number tastes, two tastes like it's number two. Like it's got the, It's got that pine sort of taste. I'm going to have to have a palate cleanser here. I think that number two definitely tastes a little piney too. You know, definitely when you look at the color, you're not picking any of these beers out based on the color. I think no, every one of them. The same. They've got, I mean, they're almost like golden, each one of them. I don't know. That's, I thought we'd get away with it because it says ruby red grapefruit. I thought it might get a little more reddish. So uh, yeah, North Park. Uh, they 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 talk about you better brace yourself for a zombie hop apocalypse. Uh, sort of mostly dead is a uh, undead army hopped with Citra, Mosaic, uh, Cryro, and Strata. That brings out a dank profile of dense oily lupulin, grapefruit zest, fruity pebbles, fresh pine, blueberries, and nugs and fresh melon. This is hey, number. I've already made a decision on one. Yep. Yeah, you did. Or number two, actually. Don't look. I mean, cry out loud, Steve. Chris, quit looking mm-hmm. at my answers. <laughs> at number three, huh? I'm drinking. I'm already on number three and four. I've already tasted them. So I've tried. Uh, I've tried all three of them. Uh, this is my final. It's gonna be hard to determine these three because I've never tasted them before. You guys are right about the colors, though. Yeah, yeah. like looking yeah, at them, no, they like for right sure. next to each other, they're almost. Wait, <laughs> I'm having flashbacks right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so the um, uh, <clears throat> this first one, I definitely it's it's the most grapefruit forward, right? It's the one that I'd say um, and then it gets the dry. All right, don't don't give us your answer. Just say you think, and then don't tell us which one you think. It All right, is. I got a, uh, I got my answer on one of them. All right. I think I'm there already, to be honest with you. But that's just me. And 
the second one? Have you, have you done, uh, have you answered number one and number two? Yeah. I'm already okay. there. You got, you answered all of them? No, I'm already on one and two. I've already answered. So I know what, I'm feeling that doesn't mean I'm right for any, by any means. So I think either, um, either can one or can two are my favorite of those beers. Can one by far is I'm going to go get one. some more of those. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that can one is, um, is super, super tasty. I mean, they've just got a lot of, they've got a lot of different stuff in there. Out of all four of them, well, yeah, it's the most uh, different fruit layers and stuff in it. So I'm, that's my my view. The these, um, these other two are going to be a little difficult. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be difficult. Two of them, I think I got pretty pretty close, but we'll see. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think that uh, that Pliny is either can three or four. I may have to change mine now. <laughs> I just tasted that again. Um. So the 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 hop profile of the short lived, uh, the Made West beer. Um, it's a West Coast weighted, loaded with uh, Talus, Mosaic, and Nelson hops. Uh, Talus steals the show, exploding with neon bright citric this character, layered with pink grapefruit, uh, pineapple nuanced cedar. This beer finishes dry. Um, uh, dry with a snappy bitterness. It's been a long time since I've had a Pliny the Elder. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't think I've had one. What? Yeah, sure you have. Have I? Yeah, I, I, I brought you some uh, years ago. Years ago? I think okay. I brought you a blind pig and a, oh, okay, yeah. a Russian river. Yeah. Probably four years ago. I think I was there. For I think I'll look in the... Still go over the there, still sit in this refrigerator. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go look in the photo archives. Well, we made a little, we made a little trip up there. Yeah. To Healdsburg. Grab yeah, some San, beverage. Yeah, Santa Rosa to get the. He picked up a some beer. Yeah, a little bit of beer. Yeah, we 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 uh, changed our clothes three times to get a case of beer each time we went in there. So the, yeah, that was back in the days when you could only get uh, get one out case at a time. That's kind of silly, but I mean, I would have been pumping that stuff out like nobody's business and not worrying about how many people are buying and what and where and when. But that's just me. So sell it. That's what I would have said. But Everybody's got their ways. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I, I Steve, tasted have it. you answered yours? I did. Let me um, let me scribble down some some answers here. Hmm. You need a pen? I do. I don't know. I just I rushed into those last two, but I did change one of mine. So I went from the uh, <clears throat> I switched two in the numbers, so I'm all right. Actually, I only switched one, but. Just how I can do it. All right. Uh, so I think we're we're ready to to shoot, huh? Should we what, should we say what uh what we all thought? Which one did you guys think was Pliny? Four, three. Did you think it was four? I thought it was three. Let's uh let's um, Megan actually let me know that these answers are up. Let's see what uh pull up the the answer guide here while we while we roll through these. Because I I just tasted that, but I mean that doesn't mean anything because I haven't had it forever. I yep. thought I would be able to recognize it, but these are all so close. I mean, yep. Okay, so uh, which one did you think it was, Steve? Four. S- Steve thought four. Charlie three. Three. I thought it was three as well. It was indeed number four. Wow, wow. good job, tech guy Steve. Steve. Uh, it's one one nothing. Uh, so what'd you guys think was Can uh, North Park uh, sort of mostly dead? Uh, number one three. You thought it was three. Uh, Charlie thought it was one. Steve thought it was three. I thought it was two. It was two. Oh. I'm back for neck. two. Mac and Mac. Uh, so, Made West, short-lived. Um, Steve, what'd you think? I picked that one as two. Oh, you picked that as two? Yeah. I picked that as four. I did uh, two. So, 
Um, so I got that one wrong. Deliri and then, then Burgeon. One. That's I, I put that as one too. Uh how about you, Charlie? That is two. Well, I guess we know um who's uh who's a little better with the blind uh, taste testing, huh, Steve? It's like uh me and me and Steve both came in fifty percent. <laughs> That's why I don't like West Coast IPAs. They all That's, taste the same. So North Park was <laughs> three. Uh, North Park was was uh, the can number two. two so it, it. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. It. I'm looking at mine like it's the answer sheet. Um, <laughs> the uh, rubric. It went. It went four, two, three, one. Was the was the breakdown? I I think my ranking went. Um, I think that Burgeon uh, deliberation. That yep. was super tasty. That grapefruit. Absolutely. That, that was, was the super, best one out of all good. of them. I, I'm going to give them the the high marks on that. I yeah, would drink that one out of all the rest of these for sure. You know that that sort of mostly dead is is pretty uh was pretty tasty as well. I'm going with uh going with Bur- Burgeon. I mean, I thought that was the best one. Had the highest alcohol content. Didn't taste much of it. It just ta- tasted all that fruit, that's for sure. Yeah, no, I uh I was I was definitely um well, that's it, that's it. you know, it just tells you. I mean, that's you can't judge a book by its cover or by unless its, it's in a bottle, <laughs> right? <laughs> or even the explanation. I mean, this is somebody you know giving you these flavors and everything. You know, it's like when you go into a a, a brewery and say, "Oh, you know, do they say, oh, what fruits do you like?" <laughs> no, I, I think they just say hey, these are these are the you know the the uh, the characteristics that yeah. these hops put. Yeah, off. I know. I, I, the, the, I understand they that should, part, but. The, but IPAs they're they're very similar across the board. I mean, I mean, except for that one right there from Virgin. Pretty impressed. Yeah, no, that um, I'm excited by that. I I really like West Coast IPAs. I know you do. That's why you pulled this. I'm a big fan. Stunt. Yeah, no. So I, I saw the uh, you know, I I I saw it. I thought it'd be uh, I thought it'd be an enjoyable, enjoyable experience. See if we uh, couldn't couldn't. Uh, well, it's wrangle fun. in one I mean, or two. It's, it's definitely fun. I mean, we could we could probably do this with, uh, you know, just about any beer. Sure. Yeah. You, no. You absolutely could. Uh, in, in a in a category. Let's put it yep, that way. For sure. But yeah, it's gosh, these are hard harder than I ever thought they would. So this would be hard if you had four imperial stouts, and you. Oh yeah. And, unless somebody said, "Hey, I have." One of them only has cocoa nibs, and none of them. Right. Well, yeah, based on you know what the adjuncts. I think a, you know a, a, a better avenue is is grabbing for blind taste testing, but saying, hey, hey, I like you know number one. This is what comes through. We could try to do um, you know, you know, better to to you know one to four on what you would like to drink. Sure, you could try to you know certainly try to name them, but yeah, the uh, um, I couldn't name them. <laughs> you know, if if you had the. Yeah, I think because once once you had adjuncts, you know, it's uh because you're you're looking for, hey, is that coconut come through? But a lot of times they they don't come through or something will come through. Never stronger. had Pliny in a can either. Yeah, no. So that's uh, it's pretty <laughs> cool how they did that, right? Like the uh, so they just yeah they sent in uh, and and Steve took a picture for for the uh, for the web page and um, but they're yeah just four empty cans or well four uh, unlabeled cans as it is just one two three and four on those. Yeah, I mean. I just I'm just confused by the whole color. I mean, I thought we'd get away with you know popping a few of these and be able to say, oh, that look at that, it's a lot redder, or rubier, or ruby I did red or whatever they call it. So I um, knowing that we were going to do this, I'm like, all right, how am I going to how am I going to figure this out? So I I spent a little bit of time on Untapped, right? So little little studying for the test, looking at you know, I was like, oh, I'll just I'll look at all these pictures, you know, and I'll like. I, I uh, you know, I scrolled through a couple of them. I'm like, this isn't going to work. Like a bunch of West Coast. I mean, they're all the the same. I mean, I think this maybe is a little. I don't know. No, I think they're all the same. We got one, two, three, four. Same order. Yeah, they're all the same. Colors order. all the same. I didn't mix them yeah. up. And can three looks a little bit lighter, like a little bit haze almost. I don't know. And that was the made made West. Was that the made West? Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. that was. They all look the same color to me. That was good. I, I certainly would say that Burgeon was uh, was probably my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna go that route. It's so these delish. So this week, uh, me and Charlie uh, went went to uh, a brewery in in Sacramento. I was, it was quite enjoyable. Absolutely. We uh, we swung into into Moxa for the uh, for the for the election. Well, we were there drinking beer. I mean, that the election was going on didn't was. have any effect on us whatsoever. Nope. It was just merely a coincidence. Yes. 
we were there electing ourselves as the drinkers of the beer. Yeah, no, there. Um, we we certainly uh, had the opportunity to uh, to consume a few of a few. There of their beers. were several beers. It was shocking, but true. Yeah, I several think that, beers on our table. I think that Turbinator was was uh, was one of my favorites, and that that ISO Nelson was a, was a good beer. What kind well. of beer was the Turbinator? The Turbinator was a Turbinator. It was a hazy Tur- IPA. Turbinator. Um, Turbinator. It was yeah. good. So they um, like yeah. with a turban on your head. Yeah, yeah, so they, um, so the, what they, let me pull that beer up just to give well, a quick. I, I just dismissed all the golden yellow beer and, uh, headed straight for the stouts, which I'm going to have to say my favorite was the Joyous Almonds. And that was legitimately my favorite. I mean, it was so, so good. And we have a bottle of that. So that's a plus. Or I have a bottle. You have a bottle. Who has a bottle? Everybody has a the bottle. bottle of uh, joyous almonds. Yeah, we do. Yeah, Ooh, yep. We uh, we both have a, a bottle. So that T two or, or so what it is? Uh, it's Turbinator two. Judgment haze is uh, is what they what they call it. it says T two is one of our most popular beers in the small history as a brewery. Uh, for this batch, they went a little overboard. Used seven point seven pounds of Citra Galaxy hops per barrel. A dosing rate we usually reserve for a triple IPA. This massively hazy beer contains flavors of melon, uh, passion fruit, ripe tangerines, and mango. It was phenomenal. It was it was super super good. Um, man, we sat down with the uh, at the table. There were six of us. Wait, two? Yeah, there was. I, yeah, I think six. there was six. Yeah, six of us, and we went through several bottles, several uh, servings of three a piece type of uh you know five ounces and gosh it was a it was a night i mean we were i mean i brought a bottle in uh and then a bottle appeared from the back room and then another bottle appeared and then another bottle appeared and some of these had no labels on them so they were for release but they hadn't released them yet so that was pretty interesting stuff and we were uh, hosted by two of your buddies. Yeah, Ryan no, was, and uh, Brian. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was and, it was a lot of fun. They wow. um, incredible peoples too. Great, uh, great brewery. Phenomenal beer. Um, the uh, you know we we got the opportunity to talk to um, uh, Derek, the 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 head brewer for a uh, for yeah. a few minutes. He was a great guy. Um, I got to talk to uh, New, the uh, uh, one of the, one of the owners, or Derek. Derek and New are are two of the three owners of of the of the place, and um, super friendly, super yeah, super nice. It was uh, it was great. We got to uh, got to um, you know, uh, New actually walked us through. You know, we 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 did some tastings of 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 their beers. He walked us through what they were trying to accomplish there, and you know, kind of the in, some of the inspiration of of some of their beers. It was great. It's a great experience. We um, certainly will we'll talk about that. I think more we're gonna we're gonna do a tasting of some of their beers. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some on, of them on an episode uh, soon. Out. No, it was a lot of fun. We we uh we we came up short in our in our plan to uh <laughs> um to proceed to a few other breweries. But uh we decided more important that we'd live to fight another day. Yeah <laughs> we needed to get home. <laughs> we um yeah we uh it was a little, a little miss, little misplayed. I have it having to work on Thursday. I think we uh, maybe bit off a little more than we could chew. Yeah. Well, I wasn't worried about work as much as I was worried about getting home <laughs> in one piece. Yeah. That um, it was a, um, it was certainly a, a, a long drive. Oh yeah. I was, you know what? It was a lot longer coming home than it was coming up there. For sure, and we yeah. traveled the same roads. That's the weird part. I mean, it, like, yeah, no, it definitely took yeah. forever to get home. It seemed like it took quite some time, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And the um, it's it certainly some some breweries I, I would love to love to go back to that that mocks. I I came away. You know, I've been a fan um, of of their beers, um, and and you know, after spending a little bit of time there, I think, uh, um, I mean, I think so. So to 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 actually kind of loop back, so. I know Steve, you know, previously you had kind of a poor experience there one time. Yeah. And the um and a friend of mine had had a had a had kind of a poor experience there hospitality wise. Um you know, th- I guess this was probably a year and a half ago I think that 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 they had had a, had a poor experience. Um they had actually, you know, brought that up. Um Oh yeah. 
to yeah, to he, he was to not only brought it up, they went into detail on what was happening and uh uh was it new? Is, is that new, new? Yeah. yeah, new was new explained that, you know, hey, we've we've uh we think we you know come up with a solution and you know this is basically what the experience is going to be now you know and, and what we experience you know, yeah a lot more you know and do, do you remember the uber rider we had that was talking about uh how they just came the owner came right up to him and sat down and said hey you know let me let me talk to you about what you're drinking and, you so know, the so- next the next morning mm-hmm. when we were we were driving back to grab the vehicle at uh at moxa our Uber driver, you know, we had, uh, you know, we had mentioned, have you been here? And he was like, yeah, Hey, I was just there. It was like, he had a, um, a similar experience with new, um, that, that we had had, he came over and kind of talked to him about the beers that he was having. And, and, and so certainly there's that push to, I think, be the, um, you know, to really, really, uh, yeah. Well, you could see it. They were, I mean, there was plenty of people that were, you know, in there and, you know, happy to be there and, and felt good about what they were dealing with. I mean, we bought a couple of beers here and there for, few people so just because they were i mean we were kind of stacking up there at the bar because we were getting so many beers and swag and all that stuff but there was a guy waiting on a beer and i'm like what do you want and he goes "Uh, well i was just gonna get a ipa or something i said here give him an ipa and i'll said i'll pay for it so you know the bartender whipped one out for him and he's all like well thanks you know i said no no no, it's on us don't worry about it you know you're good you know we're holding you up not you know so he was happy to have a beer and but i mean that I thought the experience was fantastic. I mean, it was just a lot of beer, a lot of fun, laughing and talking loudly and not disturbing other people, but it was a fun night, real fun night. And it didn't end there. That was, that was yeah, certainly. Uh, um, <laughs> we yeah, carried on had. like wayward sons. <laughs> we entered the, <laughs> the twilight zone after we left there, but it was fun. Tons of fun. Maybe too much fun. Yeah, so um, so so we'll certainly have some more of those, uh, some of the, some of their beers on, and um, yeah, we'll definitely do another another blind taste uh, taste test moving forward. There's definitely some breweries here on this list that we should. Yeah, no, I yeah. we got to hit up. I you know I'm uh, super impressed with like you know if if I was to rank um, you know my 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 top two on here, I think it was cans one and two. I thought were were my favorite. Certainly that. Um, that virgin, you know, the first taste in that, that grapefruit really, really comes through and it's, and it has that, like, you know, like it says here, that, that bone dry finish certainly is a dry finish. Absolutely. Very good West coast IPA. I think that's my number one. I'm going to go with that too. I'm a big fan. Um, North park. I mean, they're, they've been stepping up their game. So speaking of North park, um, the other day I stopped in and I, uh, I get my haircut right next door there. So I, I got a triple macaroon, triple vanilla <laughs> macaroon barrel aged at stout. It was unbelievable. Phenomenal. From them? Yeah, from them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Great. And, and I just got a, they Thanks just did a, uh, um, a collaboration, like a brownie fudge collaboration with Equilibrium. I think we, we, uh, got a bottle of that. Thanks for the invite. The guy invited you. You yeah. actually got a bottle. And said, no, not that one, but, I mean, to go to North Park. I mean, told you you're free to cut my hair anytime you want. Well, you'd look silly, but, yeah, I'd do it. Very well. <laughs> On that note, uh, guys, I'm Chris. Charlie. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Steve. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Doing the blind taste test was a lot of fun. In review, there were four IPAs. Can number one was Deliberation from Bergen. Can number two was Sort of Mostly Dead from North Park. Can number three was Short Lived from Made West. And can number four was Plenty the Elder from Russian River. To subscribe to the Podcraft show, get links, see pictures, and to connect with the podcast via email and social media, then head over to thepodcraft.com for all that info. Please also consider recommending the show to the craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more, the merrier. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for the Podcraft Show. Have a great day. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. 
All Rights Reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.